Okay, this is Monday's homework. In the rainforest, some of the world's most interesting plants and animals live in the tropical rainforest. These forests are near the equator in the part of the world called the tropics. The climate there is always warm. Tropical rainforests usually get rainfall every day. A rainforest has four layers. The bottom layer is called the forest floor. It is quite dark. Very little sunlight filters through the tall trees. The forest floor is also very damp. Water drips off the plants after the rain and even the air is wet. Nothing ever really dries out in this first layer. The second layer up is the understory. Many kinds of animals live in the smaller trees that grow in this layer. The third layer is the canopy. Even more animals live here. At this level are the tops of many trees. The leaves and branches of different trees link together. The canopy is like a roof. The fourth and top layer of the forest is the emergent layer. It includes the tops of the tallest trees. Some are more than 200 feet tall, 61 meters. These trees get the most sunlight and rain. Many plants grow only in the rainforest. These plants have developed ways to live there. Mycoheterotrophs are one kind of plant that lives in the forest floor. Not much sunlight reaches them. Most plants must have sunlight to make their own food. Mycoheterotrophs get food another way. Their roots draw food from the fungi that decompose dead leaves and flowers. Many rainforest flowers are high in the trees. In most rainforests, the trees follow at different times. Some flowers in the rainforest only bloom once every five years. So read and listen and annotate the text. Your student should be reading and highlighting what's important. For the second page of homework, multiplication facts, they are to finish all of their multiplication facts. Third page, main idea. Write one sentence that tells the main idea and they'll write the sentence right here in these empty spots. Let me go ahead and read those. In Peru, many people eat guinea pigs. Guinea pigs are a good source of protein and are easy to raise. They can also provide a much needed source of income for people who raise them to sell. Main idea goes here. In Australia, Australia, cattle and sheep are raised on huge ranches and called stations. A station may be so large that low flying helicopters are used to herd the animals. You could drive for, for several days in one direction and never leave the station. Main idea goes here. Sharks have a lot of teeth. A shark may have up to 3,000 teeth at one time. Shark teeth grow in rows. When a shark loses its tooth, it is replaced by a new tooth from the row behind it. A shark may have over 20,000 teeth over the course of its life. Main idea goes here. Kangaroos are very small animals. They spend most of their time in groups and call, that are called mobs. Kangaroos communicate with each other with clicks, tongues, hisses, and growls. They are they also groom each other by picking dirt, insects, and dead skin from each other's fur. Main idea goes here. Remember, main idea is what the passage is mostly about. Often it can be the topic sentence or the first sentence in a paragraph. And that concludes the homework for tonight. Please let me know if you have any questions.